All right, what's up guys? This is Andrew Smursek with Combat Art Training. Today we're gonna be painting the AK. So I'm gonna show you how we've got it taped off. Um, first off, I did bust out the rust. Rust is all gone, as far as I can see. Just use CLP and a chamber brush to get everything off. And then um, after it was clean, I degreased it using hand sanitizer, which should you use that? I don't know, but I've done it before and it seemed to work. So basically covered up the serial number, which uh, I'll probably go with just a little bit so that it blends in with the rest after I'm done paying. Uh, covered up the trigger, magwell, uh, a bit of the, uh, the magazine catch, and then the sights, of course, very important. The light, taped that off. Uh, taped off the bolt carrier, that little stupid hole for the uh, bolt hold open. I'm gonna keep the stock collapsed, that way it's able to move freely um, when I do adjust it. Um, and also, of course, the muzzle has been taped. Now, if you notice, the big port is on the top right now. So what I did is I pushed the detent in and I twisted it all the way uh, so that the, the um, brake is as tight as it can be to the rifle. And then after I paint the first main layer, I'm just gonna twist it back and then we'll be able to match the camo pattern with the entire rifle. The goal of that uh, is to simply keep paint off the threads and off the detent so I can still work it. All right guys, next we're going to look at the colors we have. Um, and I'll show you how I pick out which color I want. Okay, so just a quick look at what the colors look like um, with this Easy Care Premium, just the thing I got at the hardware store. Very, very light color. Um, lid next to it does match pretty well. Um, and this one right here is the Khaki from Rosoleum. This one, it doesn't really say, so I just assume it's tan, but that's Rosoleum. And Krylon Brown and Easy Care Brown. Brown looks like brown. Um, but what I want to go with is I'm going to use the uh, Rosoleums as a base layer on everything. And then I'll show you how we're going to make the patterns. All right. So let's get started with the main layer. Now, of course, shake that bitch up. You don't have to be right up on it. You don't have to be super far away, but we're just gonna do nice streaks like that to paint it. Don't try to get one spot all at once. That will not work. And we're just getting a good base layer. Now, I did this before. Um, I'm on my AKs and we, uh, actually both my, my AK and my RPK, I had a Wasser 10 and a, uh, Romanian, or no, not Romanian, Polish RPK. And I made a pretty cool pattern, so I'm going to try to replicate that. But also, we shot in pouring rain and I never cleaned the outside and it was good to go. So, hopefully it'll be the same case here. Now... I know lots of people like different types of paint, and I'm just using a damn um, spray paint, right? People like, um, what is it, Cerakote, and I think Duracote used to be a thing, uh, all these gun paints, and here's the thing, if uh, you paid two, three hundred dollars for a paint job or a Geissele trigger, You've never taken a class from anyone, you suck and you're wasting your money. All right, also, I would tell you don't paint your gun until you've taken a class with it. You might find out something about it is all fucked up and you have to change it out. Um, also, you don't want to paint your gun and have it ruin something. If you're, uh, if you're ever painting a scope, there's I'm sure tons of good videos on it, and maybe I'll eventually do one, but uh, take extra precaution when you do that to make sure you don't dick up your scope and then you can still see your knobs and everything like that. All right, now we're gonna turn it over. Try not to smear it all off, but I mean, if it happens, it happens, not a big deal. Um, now I'm gonna be careful up here. I'm gonna get paint on this area, but I don't wanna get too much where it fucks with the switches. I left it alone but I'm gonna be cognizant of it. Again, 
we're just getting a good base layer on, and then we're going to put on a camo pattern. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. This is old ass paint too. Why oh, you fucking bitch? Alright. Ah, that one's all fucked up and retarded. Right, let's use this one now. Also, um, if you're afraid of scratching your gun, there's something wrong with you, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm saying you have to like, you have to like throw it at the ground and do a bunch of crazy stuff, but don't be worried about that. And that right there, when people get a, when they, they pay $300 for a paint job, and then they're afraid to scratch their paint. I can't stand that shit. All right, I think it looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna cut it. Okay, now we've let that dry. <clears throat> I'm just gonna rotate this guy back. And, well, I kinda missed a spot right there. No big deal. Um, we'll be able to get that. And now we've got the brown. We're just gonna streak brown across in kind of big streaks. I'm gonna do it on both sides. So I'm pull that in the frame a little bit there. turn it over and we can kind of see all the spots where we had it before um, I'm just gonna hit the same manner get too much on the light but it's kind of happening all right I got a little bit more all right see that looks pretty good and I'm just letting it dry like a couple minutes in between not much though <clears throat> maybe get a little bit more time on the top I know you guys are watching being super nitpicky about this too. But believe me, I feel nitpicky enough right now. All right, so that's looking pretty fucking cool already. You could pretty much just leave it like that and it looks fucking awesome. But we're gonna take it a step further uh, with this next part. All right, so what we did, we took a paper bag, tore it up, tried to give it kind of a uh, tiger pattern to it taped it on you don't need much tape just enough to make it stick uh, try to have no straight lines try to tear everything so that every edge looks something like that put it on and uh, now I'm gonna take 
tan, which I fucked up right there and put brown. And in fact, I might as well just put a little bit more brown. Uh, a couple spots to see. Maybe it'll look cool too. That's a different color, so why not? <clears throat> but what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go along the edges uh, with this, this here lighter tan, and then we're gonna go over it with a laundry bag um, after we take everything off. So let's hit it. Oop, that looks like shit. And if this totally sucks, we can always do it again. But even if it is a little bit bad, um, we're going back over it with a laundry bag. We're not trying to hit a ton, just here and there with this part. Now let's flip it over. This is really light compared to the rest which I don't really like, but we're gonna keep going and see what happens. Oh, fucking brown again. God damn it, I am horrible. That's what happens when you're blind. paper off. Like I said, I don't really like how light that is, but we'll see at the end with the um, mesh bag. And again, if you fuck this up, whatever, just paint over it. Oh man, that looks like shit. I hate that light color. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is one by one, piece by piece, we're going to focus on painting over that light color. And we're going to use a long mesh bag. Ah, uh, well this is from cami netting, but just a mesh bag works fine. Alright, I'll go to the next part. Alright, good, just getting fucking rid of that nonsense. Good. Not too bad. So I can kind of see what I'm hitting through the bag. Probably a little bit more right here. A little bit better. All right. Shut up with your gay dirt bikes. Jesus fucking Christ. All right. Right here. It's like that episode of South Park with all of the uh, Harley riders. That's looking better. Alright, it's getting rid of that lightness, which I like. And it's really dulling out the brown, which is what I wanted. Let's hit this side. Now, this whole time I've been doing this, I'm just going back um, and painting the magazines as I let the rest the rifle dry. So the last time definitely turned out cooler with the uh, different colors, but I just didn't have time today to go get the exact colors I had before. And we're making do. Um, had some old paint too. Now go in here. All 
Try to dull out this side too. And yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty good. We're gonna hit a little bit of uh, let's see, we got brown. A little bit of brown up at the front, just because there ain't none. Yeah, that ain't too bad. All right, cool. Yeah, pretty good. All right, now which spot should we touch up? By the top rail. A little bit bright for my taste. Let me just make weird mouth noises. Now that I've said it, you're not gonna unhear any of them when you watch this video. All right, man. Yeah, I'm pretty fucking happy with that. So I would stay away from that really light color, or maybe just use that as a base layer. It'll barely come through, but that looks pretty sick. Now, I know you guys are like, but you live in Florida, dude. Why aren't you making a green? I just don't like the way green rifles look. I think they look shitty. Um, I like green gear, green and black, um, and I like woodland gear, but I like this for rifles. I just like the way it looks, um, and it does blend in pretty well uh, to the environment uh, outside. So, anyway, guys. Um, yep, now let's, uh, let's look at the magazines. All right, so for the magazines, again, I was just, uh, going back and paying them in between coats on the rifle, and that's how they turned out. Um, again, I don't like that light color. I mean, I suppose for a very, very beginning base layer, it'd be fine, uh, because you're going to paint over it if you're using three different colors. What I did last time that worked really good was I did a coat of... Uh, I believe it was the same thing, but we started off with dark tan, then we did the brown streaks, and then we did um, the the painter's tape. I didn't use any paper bags. It took forever, though. The painter's tape for the tiger flush thing, and then um, streaked with the laundry bag, uh, lighter tan. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, take a class uh, again before you worry about painting your guns honestly it's kind of gay to paint your guns but it's also fun so I don't really give a shit but yeah thanks for watching subscribe like this video and keep fighting communism